All right, Vol Force One here, and we are back for a big game. This is my Washington State Cougars, of which I am the offensive coordinator under Mike Leach. We are getting ready to take on Oregon. We and o Washington State, Oregon, and Washington are all tied for first place at the top of the Pac-12 North. We're all four and two, so this is a big game. Uh, this is kind of an elimination game. If we win. We still will have a chance to win the division. If we lose, it's kind of hard for us to imagine being able to to take that top spot. So, big game. Oregon, uh, this is their results. They did lose at Michigan State to open the year. They lost at Stanford. And then they have a loss to Arizona State. But they have beaten, uh, obviously, Cal, Georgia State, and Mississippi State in a big non-conference match against an SEC opponent. They won at Colorado they won against USC, and then last week they just beat Utah. And they've won pretty convincingly every game. They've not had to play any close games. They've beaten everybody uh, pretty soundly. And their losses have all been close. They've all been within a touchdown. So Oregon, very good team. Um, this is our results. We finally did stop that two-game losing streak after beating Oregon State last week. Um, but we come in kind of a similar similar uh, set of results. We're both 6-3. and three. We're both 4-2. and two. And so this is a big game. Um, again, kind of an elimination game when it comes to the Pac-12 North. And as we look ahead, we've got that big match at Washington uh, for the what could be for the Pac-12 Northern Division. As Washington is ranked number 24, they're the only Northern Division team that is ranked. So, um, so that'll be a big one. But this one, to get to make that uh, game important, we need to win today. Apodaca closing in on 4,000 yards. He's got 40 touchdowns, 6 picks. Caldwell has 765 yards rushing. He still has a chance for a 1,000-yard season. And then Dominique Williams, 871 yards receiving. He's looking for a 1,000-yard year uh, catching the ball as well. Oregon comes in with a much better defense than we have. They have the 28th-ranked defense in the country. Ours is 46. Not terrible, but uh, not near as good as Oregon's. And this is, of course... Um, this, these are the rosters from 2014. Mark Helfrich in, in my game is still with Oregon. And so uh, here we go. We have the number one passing offense. Theirs is 110. And their rushing offense, however, is 26th. So they have a, they have a, a very strong running game. And, but we want to try and make them throw. We want to make them have to pass the ball. Because if we can, that means that we are having success offensively. And so uh, that would, I think, help us to sort of dictate the game. We want, we want it to be a kind of a shootout. Um, Oregon obviously wants to grind it out. They want to get a lot of yards rushing. They want to put us behind. And so um, it's really kind of a, a contrast of styles type matchup here. Um, and again, this is a big game for both teams. This is a, sort of a season-defining game. Uh, these are the games you look forward to. Uh, this is why you play the rest of your season is to get into a game like this. So um, obviously we, you know, we're we're having the kind of season that we could have hoped for, right? We this is we, we, but Oregon really for them this is kind of a disappointing season. They would rather be closing in on ten wins rather than having to spite and scrape for the division title. <laughs> So uh, here we start, though. We hand the ball off to Caldwell. He picks up six yards on the first play from scrimmage. Second down and four here. Apodaca looks. He throws out to his right, and he finds a man, Dominique Williams, for 21 yards. And that is 4,000 yards. It's a school record now for Apodaca. That's the kind of year we were, we were hoping for. Here we hand it off. I believe that's Wicks. This time, Wicks breaks off a big run, 11 yards, and we have a first down. And here we have the screen to Lewis. He picks up two yards. Decent little catch and run, but Oregon was ready for it. Here we have Abadaka drops back, throws out to the left. Near the sideline, he finds Bartolone. Picks up a solid five yards, makes it third and three. Here with the handoff, Caldwell breaks a tackle after getting the first down. Picks up a couple more yards, and now he ended up with eight yards. And we have a first and ten in the red zone. And there's another screen, this time to Williams, but he loses a yard. Second down and 11. There 
it. He was hit immediately. Again, Oregon ready for that. Oregon apparently ready for the screen game. And there was a pass that's dropped to make third down and 11. Here, Apodaca drops back, looks, throws it to the left, and it's intercepted right at the sideline. Oregon with the ball now at their own 10 yard line. After what was a promising opening drive, the Ducks take over. They would score a touchdown on that drive, and so we're behind seven to nothing. And again, you saw they, they ate up quite a bit of clock. But Gabe Marks there, his first catch, 19 yards. First down, Washington State. Gonna go trips left here. Pass. He led his man a little too far. I believe that was Williams. Williams was open. He had a step on his man, but Apodaca led him too far. So we go to second and ten. Apodaca here drops back, throws across the middle. This time he's got his man. It's Bartolone who picks up eleven and a first down for the Cougars. He goes trips left again. Here is Apodaca. He's going long. He's got a man, and Marks hauls it in for a twenty-six yard reception. First down. As Apodaca here throws it right where it has to be thrown for Marks to make that catch. And so we have first and 10 now inside the 20 of Oregon. Throw across the middle this time. He finds River, uh, Craycraft for 14 yards, and we have a first and goal. Washington State here trying to tie the game. We send uh, Lewis in motion. Everybody's covered except for... Caldwell, who slipped out of the backfield uncovered. He does pick up four yards before Oregon can finally haul him in. So we have second and goal. Handoff this time to Caldwell, and he trots into the end zone. Untouched. One-yard touchdown run. And we are tied after the extra point. Oregon would score in their next drive. So here we are again, down 14-7. to seven, Throw across the middle. Finds Dominic Williams for 13 yards and a first down. And here we have a bubble screen out to, uh, I believe that's Bartolone, yes, four yards. Second down and six. We don't really do tosses or sweeps, and so these little outside screen passes kind of accomplish that for us. And here we have a run up the middle. Caldwell picks up five yards. Make it third down and one. Abadaka drops back, throws to his left. He finds Bartolone, who breaks a tackle and picks up 14 yards on the catch. Here we're taking a little more time than I would prefer, trying to figure, make a plan. Wicks takes the handoff, picks up two yards, second down and eight. Here, Apodaca throws across the middle. He's got number 19. Who is that? That's Bartolone, I believe. It's a nice catch. Yep. First and 10 is Washington State again driving. Trying to tie the game. Takes a strong hit there. Now Apodaca drops back. Plenty of time. But he tried to force a pass, and he throws his second interception, again ending what was a promising drive for the Cougars. Oregon obviously dropped into coverage and did a good job of confusing Apodaca. So now he's got Apodaca has two interceptions. Oregon unable to score, though. We would get the ball back. Here's a handoff to uh, Caldwell on uh, second down. He makes it third and inches. This time the handoff to Caldwell, and he's short. Leach rolls the dice, says, let's go for it. Craycraft goes in motion, or Bartolone goes in motion, but the handoff instead goes to Caldwell, who gets five and another first down. Would have been would have been tough to not get that first down, especially if Oregon would have been able to score there to take a two-touchdown lead into the half. 
Here, Apodaca goes long and he finds Gabe Marks. Oregon again got caught up too tight. So Washington State and Apodaca decide to go over the top. They find Gabe's mark. Gabe marks for the long touchdown pass. It's 14-14. Oregon would get a field goal. As we go into the third quarter now, and they the Ducks lead 17-14. Go to Dominic Williams, picks up some good yards, but Williams takes a little knock. Here, Apodaca looking long again, but it was deflected. This time, Oregon had the coverage. Ill-advised throw there by Apodaca. Lucky to get the ball back. Here, he's in a little trouble, but he does complete the pass this time to Robert Lewis for eight yards and a first down. Lewis has had trouble getting himself into the game recently. Bucket here throws across the middle. He finds reliable receiver Dominic Williams, who picks up 18. And we go into the Ducks half of the field. The Duck dumps it out into the flat. He finds Caldwell, who gets two yards. Then we get second and eight. Ducca throws across the middle. He This time he finds Craycraft for 15 yards. First and 10. And trips left to go with the uh, bubble screen to Robert Lewis, who picks up three yards on that play. It's second down and seven now. And there's a pass from Apodaca to Antonio Woods for 29 yards and the touchdown. And the Cougars have their first lead of the game. It's 20 to 17. The extra point would make it 21. Oregon would fail to score, so Washington State would get the ball back. In the next possession, the handoff to Caldwell goes for eight yards, second down and two. That makes it second and two. And you can see now Washington State, after some miscues, kind of settled into their game. Even with the two turnovers, they were driving the ball pretty well until Abadaka made a couple of mistakes. Here, Caldwell. Pounds forward for two yards and a first down. Washington State would get one more playoff here before the end of the third quarter. Apodaca takes the snap, looks, throws to his left. He had Williams on the crossing route who broke a tackle, pushes a defender for another yard or two, picks up eight total. But again, a little knock for Williams. Is he, Williams this season has tended to be a little injury prone. But that would be the end of the third. Cougars have fought back to take the lead 21-17 now, one quarter away from what could be a huge win, probably the defining win of this season so far. Here, Abadaka trapes back under pressure as the Ducks blitzed, almost forced a mistake out of Abadaka on that incomplete pass. So it's 32, the handoff goes to Caldwell, who picks up four yards in the first down. Again, Oregon unable to get Washington State off the field. Handoff this time. Again, up the middle. Caldwell, huge hole, picks up 16 yards. First and 10 into Oregon territory again. Washington State kind of letting some time run off. They're trying to control the clock a little bit here now with the lead and the ball, but that pass is dropped. Playing a bit of a dangerous game. This time, Washington State comes with trips to the right. Apodaca looks, throws it across the middle, and it is deflected by O'Shea Dunmore of Oregon. And now, a huge play. Third down and 10. Apodaca throws to his right, and he finds Craycraft. 
hauls it in, picks up the first down on the sideline, almost got freed and took it to the house. But the Oregon defender was able to force it out. And so now we have first and 10 at the 10-yard line. Daka makes a change at the line of scrimmage. Instead, decides to hand it off. But Caldwell easily met in the backfield. It's second down and 12 now. Obadaka's throw into the corner of the end zone is deflected away. Third down and 12. Throw across the middle. Antonio Woods, wide open. Nobody in that middle zone. Makes the catch, and Woods scores the touchdown. And Washington State now with a two-score lead on Oregon. Oregon has not been able to do anything with the ball this half. And they would still not be able to score. Washington State gets the ball back. The handoff to Wicks goes for 10 yards and a first down. Letting the clock roll here. Washington State leads by 11. They want to eat some clock. Sadaka drops back to throw. Pass is complete to Walter Butler. A rare catch by the tight end who picks up four yards. That's his second of the game. Second and six here. Apodaca again letting that play clock roll down. Take the snap. Then the handoff. Caldwell finds his way through to get six yards and a first down. Apodaca here now again, letting the clock roll down. Washington State not known for playing ball control, but here trying to hold that lead. They are they are working the clock a little bit. They're the Pass fell to the ground as Apodaca was hit. This time on second and ten, he hands off to Caldwell, who picks up seven yards. Make it third and three. Dog four. Yellow three. Yellow three. Apodaca here. Third down and three. Sends a man in motion. Takes the snap. Looks. Fires it across the middle. He's got Gabe March for five yards and another first down as the Oregon faithful are frustrated. They can't get the Cougar offense off the field. This time, Opadaka's handoff goes to Wicks, who knifes his way through for nine yards. Puts the Washington State rushing total over 100. Now it's first and goal. Man goes in motion. They hand it off to Marks, but he is gobbled up. Two-yard loss, second down and goal now. Oregon having to take their final timeout. Here's another handoff. This one goes to Wicks. Wicks finds his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington State, as they put an exclamation point on this win over Oregon. As the Ducks now will help be forced to try and make up a three-score deficit in only a minute, and they were unable to do it. That's the end of the game. Austin Apodaca, 28-39, 350 yards, three touchdowns as the Oregon Ducks walk off the field dejected, having seen their hopes of a Pac-12 North evaporate before their eyes. They do still have to play Washington. The Cougars must beat Washington. Nothing is set in stone. But this was a big win and a big step to a Pac-12 championship game appearance for the Washington State Cougars. They beat Oregon 35-25. to Oregon was able to score on their last drive and get the two-point conversion, but it was too little, much too late. And another... Respectable day. Not great. 20, only 23 first downs. 475 yards total offense. They did have 120 yards rushing, which is well above average for the Cougars. 350 yards passing. 8 of 10 on third down. That was a big difference as the, the Ducks were 8 of 14. 
8 of 14 is not a bad number, but 8 of 10 is very good. If anything, it can, uh, can sort of serve as a dark cloud over the Washington State performance. It was the two interceptions, both ending what were promising Washington State drives, in a way, taking points off the board. And we look at Apodaca's performance, 28 of 39, 354 yards, three touchdowns with a couple of picks. Caldwell had 81 yards rushing. Wicks chipped in with 42. Very balanced day receiving-wise. Marks had 90. Bartolone, Williams, and Craig Craft all with 60 or more. And again, Lewis really struggled to get into the game. Bray was not asked to kick any field goals, but he made all five of his extra points. And so, that pretty much wraps it up as a, uh, a big win for the Cougars. We get to seven wins. That's a big step. Last season, the Cougars were 3-9 and nine, um, overall. So, to have a seven-game turnaround is, is, uh, is promising. Next week, we play Utah, and we have to make sure we don't slip up before that final game, the Apple Cup against Washington, which could decide the Pac-12 Northern Division. This is Vol Force 1 signing off. We will see you next time.